Yeah. It's a UFC heavyweight division collision. I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it in the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. All right, so here he is, UFC light heavyweight champion times two, future Hall of Famer, a man you know as well as anyone DC, Johnny Bones Jones. John Jones is one of those talents that when you see him for the first time, you understand that he is something special. He has a very strong mind, unbelievable skill set, and an ability to rise to the occasion. He did it from the moment he first stepped foot in the octagon as a very young fighter to his long championship reign. Some of the victims on John Jones's resume is unbelievable to have beaten that many UFC champions over the course of his career. John Jones truly is one of the greatest martial artists of all time. Skill for skill, one of the best fighters you will ever see, and very loyal when it comes to his team. He has been with Mike Winkle, John, and Greg Jackson since day one. John Jones trying to add to arguably the greatest mixed martial arts legacy the sport has ever seen here and now tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Jones is three years his senior. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. Now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 11 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Surreal Bogomolka! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a look-see-do fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Bones! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' career. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes? Oh, nice connection there by John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight, DC. And you have to have it, because the target is always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems destined to keep that title wrapped around his waist. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Great punch. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Nice leg kick land. Nice combination of kicks there by Jones. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now 
because of the leg damage he's taking. Nice punch lands over the top. He's gonna try to take him down, there you go. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very... Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. And this might just be a matter of time. Submission defense there. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop it. you got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Side control now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling to really be entertaining. Round two is next. Hey, stop! High-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready? You ready? He blocks the punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Try to establish that jab. Oh, beautiful technique to land the overhand. Well, John Jones showing you some of those new weapons here tonight. Mike Winklejohn is always fond of saying you don't see 30% of what Johnny Bones is able to do in the gym. And with every passing fight, starting to show you new wrinkles, new weapons in that arsenal. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. And they separate. Oh, nice jab. Oh, the jab followed by the right hand. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big kick lands. Oh, collar tie. When you're in the clinch, you call oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Oh, big stick up top. That's another one. like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Johnny Bone. Oh, he's got a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. Back to the feet. Well, his huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Wow. Low single takedown. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Looks like he might attempt the guillotine now. He might get a finish here. Oh, looks 
like he's countering here with maybe a Von Flu. He's got the side mount. And now all of a sudden his opponent's in trouble. May want to bail on that guillotine sooner rather than later. Right, I mean, how do you not admire the focus of this young fighter? You could tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 59 seconds of round number two. For the winner, by submission, John Jones! All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. Man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission.